Hey y'all, it's Allie from Little Hill Homestead. So this video was filmed. <laughs> I left my microphone off. I didn't even put my microphone on today. Hold on. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't. So this whole video was filmed once before and I had to delete it because you guys let me know that after a minute and a half, the sound completely cut out. I have a love-hate relationship with my microphone because it only lasts maybe 30 minutes before it just shuts off and there's no way for me to know that it's going to turn off. So that's great, right? But instead, I just won't use a microphone today and then we won't have any issues. How's that go? How's it go? <laughs> so this is an anti-aging face oil. It helps fight aging. It's great for healing acne scars. Um, it's great for helping with our little fine lines that we get and things like that. So this one, um, I use it. So I wash my face at night. I use a goat soap, goat soap bar at night. I wash my face with that to get all my makeup and stuff off along with our makeup wipes which is going to be another video. And, um, I use this at night, wake up in the morning, do my thing, wash my face, take my shower. And then I put a little bit on underneath my makeup before I put on, put my makeup on and it helps it glide really, really well. So I use it twice a day basically, but you only have to use it once and you don't have to use it every day. How's that? What am I talking about? You guys, <laughs> this is my first video of the day. We're going to be doing a bunch of videos today and I need to get my life together because so far <sighs> it's early. It's not early. Okay. It's it's 1030 in the morning, which is not early, but we have a hurricane. Um, the, the one that came up over Louisiana and stuff is now hitting us in Georgia and it's causing it to be dreary and disgusting looking outside, but it's not really that cold. So it's like weird. So it's kind of windy and rainy all day today. So it makes me just want to go snuggle up you guys. Okay, who feels me? Okay, get on with it. So this is an anti-aging face oil. Let me tell you, I wrote it all down because I can't remember my name some days, like let's be real. This reduces inflammation, it helps fight acne, um, it prevents wrinkles, fights aging, produces fine lines, and it's got a lot of nutrients in it, you guys. That's something that your skin's gonna love. We are gonna be adding some essential oils to it. We are gonna be adding frankincense, which you guys know, I use frankincense in everything. It is great for anti-aging. It's uh, great for, let's see what I did I write down. Anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, um, and scar reducing. The Lang, Ylang Ylang, the Lang Lang, we add for cell growth. It improves your skin tone in this anti-aging. <clears throat> Lavender, we are adding because it is great for stressed skin. So if your skin is under stress, it kind of calms it down, which a lot of people with different skin issues, you get red and you get irritated. The last thing we're gonna add is rosemary. Rosemary stimulates blood circulation, which is gonna help you. It gives you this beautiful pink glow on your cheeks. It's very nice. But um, it just, the faster your blood is moving, the faster it's gonna heal. So that's why we add that. <clears throat> I have two options for a container to put this in. I feel like I'm standing up in the air, but I'm not now, I'll just stand weird. Um, I do mine in a little roller ball. I get them on Amazon. I'll try to link it below. It just has a little top that pops into it and then a lid that screws on. Um, I usually will roll it onto my fingers and then dab it where I want it. The other thing you can use is a dropper like this. Um, I actually was at Dollar Tree yesterday and I saw they have all kinds of crazy concoctions, you guys, let's be real, on their beauty aisle. But what I thought was kind of cool is they do have containers that have droppers like this. It's got its own liquid already in it but if you dump those out and rinse it out you guys could have a cute little you know perfect little container for $1.25 just rinse it really well with some strong soap are you ready my roller balls have this little funnel so I just go ahead and stick my little funnel in there first ingredient is castor oil you guys know that we love castor oil it works in like everything I use it in a ton of things Look up castor oil, you guys are gonna be like, wow, I had no idea. Um, we're gonna be doing in this series quite a few videos that contain castor oil. It is thick. And um, I remember taking it to try to put myself into labor when I was um, a week past due with my first kid. <laughs> I mixed it in Kool-Aid, didn't work, but that's okay, he's here. He's 27 years old now, so eventually something worked, right? Uh, the next thing we need is jojoba oil. This is 100% jojoba oil. 
Jojoba oil is another one that is just really good. It's got a lot of nutrients in it. I like it because it's oily, but it's not, it's like lightweight. It doesn't, it's not heavy. It's not gonna make you greasy looking. That's why I kind of like it. And it dissipates that castor oil very, very nicely. So one teaspoon of that into your dropper. The next thing we're gonna do is our essential oils. Frankincense, I like to overdo. Um, I do 10 to 15 drops of this, you guys. If it works, I need to get a new bottle of frankincense because I've been using it in so many of these recipes and then having to redo a recipe, which is great because now I have two roller balls, so I don't have to make it as often. I use this all the time, so I don't mind. But, oh my gosh, come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shemizel, shemazel. That's um, Laverne and Shirley if you're not from the US. <laughs> and I probably butchered the words, but it's okay. And then we're going to do three drops of each of our other essential oils. Here's our Lang Lang. Ooh, or four. Our lavender. Oh, this is rosemary. We're going to do the rosemary next, apparently, because that's what I grabbed. If you're sensitive to any of these, by the way, don't use them. You can omit any of them. I would definitely... Ooh, did you just see that? <laughs> that one apparently does not have a dropper. Who knew? This is going to be heavily rosemaried. Jeez. Ah! Let me go dump a little of this out of the sink. We're fine, we're fine. There's nothing to see here, it's okay. We're just gonna have a little extra rosemary in this batch. But normally you do three batches and why does it not have a pour top? Like they always have a little spout thing. What happened to it? I don't think I took it off, so. Y'all, that was a disaster. Such is life, right? Let me give a paper towel. <laughs> see, this is why I hate redoing videos. The first one was perfect. I was probably hilarious. I had great things to say. And today, because I'm just trying to remake something that I already did, it's like when you re when you write a letter or write a speech or a paper, if you lose it, you always think that's the best version, even though the second one's probably fine. Well, here we are, people, real life. This little um, thing just pops on the top of it. It just slides in. These pop off really easy. I just use a knife, which is probably not the safest thing to use, but it, it's fine. And I just catch the lip and then hook it. And then I just put this on the top. And it smells like rosemary in here now. Not rosemary, lavender. All right, just give it a little shake and there's just enough room in these little roller balls for this to work. If you're doing it into whatever container, just give it a little shake. Then all I do when I put it on, like I was saying, I usually will put it on my fingers and then I will kind of just dab it on myself. You can roll it directly if you want to do that. Um, I, I like to, use clean hands instead of putting my face all on this roller ball over and over. So I just do it on my hands and then tap it on myself. Or you can use one of these syringes and either dribble it on your face and rub it in or whatevs, right? Or dab it on your fingers and rub it in. So that's basically it, you guys. Um, I like to use it. I try to avoid going really close to my mouth and I don't put it on my eyelids because they're very thin skinned. But I do my forehead, I do my cheeks, I do my chin, I do everything else. And what I like about it is I have super sensitive skin. I've told you guys this 3000 times at this point. What I like about it is um, it's, it doesn't clog my pores. And so I enjoy using it on my face. I don't use it anywhere else um, because I'm not really worried about aging anywhere else. But if you, I know a lot of you guys ask for something to help with creping, legs or wherever you have aging skin make a bigger batch of this same thing like get ready in the morning and just use it almost like a lotion it's pretty thin you can thin it out just a slight bit more with a little more jojoba oil but castor oil is what you really want in there um so i think the consistency is great and it's not too oily like i mean i just used it and it's already gone so if you're worried about craving skin or aging in any place <laughs> this is the miracle um, stuff that's gonna help you. So go ahead and use it pretty much anywhere you want, you guys. Well, not internally. I would not use it internally because it is not going to help you not age that way. There you go. Anywhere in your skin. Anyways, that is our video for today. I apologize for those of you who caught it the first time and um, 
I woke up in the morning to a billion comments of no sound, no sound. I am so sorry. And um, I promise you that video is probably better than this one, but oh, such is life. You guys, this is the kind of day I'm having. Let's be real. I need a little now to do in my life. Mm. So here we go. I'm going to get in a good spirited mood. I'm going to turn on some loud music for a second and um, restage and have a whole bunch of videos coming at you guys. I do have one other question for you guys. I know you want to see all 30 whatever videos that we have going. Some of them are like the same product can be used for multiple issues that you guys asked me to address. So it may not end up being 31. It'll be like 27. <laughs> it's just still a lot. So you will see a few of our regular little Hill Homestead things thrown in throughout the beauty. Um, it's not beauty. It's it's body care. You will see other videos thrown throughout it just because not everybody wants to sit here for that many days and see beauty stuff over and over. But um, we are going to address as many things as we possibly can. And what was that, the point of that? The train left the station, y'all. Oh, I know what it was. <laughs> so lately I have been posting five and six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, sometimes two times a day. Depends on if I get really excited about something like the apple bread, I knew that it was something you guys wanted to see. So I finished filming it and immediately put it up for you guys, um, even though we had already posted that day. So am I doing too much? Am I, am I making you guys, I don't want burnout. You don't want alley burnout, right? No little hill homestead burnout. We want it to be fun and exciting for you guys. So let us know what you guys want. Um, I mean, you want us to post seven times a day, that's exhausting and it'll get really old, but we do it. No, we're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> okay, guys, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed already, by the way, and you want other anti-aging or, um, I mean, we're going to be doing stuff for helping your hair growth, stuff for dandruff, stuff for, ooh, um, heels and cracks and stuff in your skin. We're going to be doing some tallow-based um, recipes, which I'm super excited to show you guys. We will have a tallow recipe, like show you how to break down um, beef fat to make your own tallow. It's going to be fun. So subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, that is it. You guys, that is... <sighs> Have a great day.